as I understand it, the, the Kabbalah is not the after dessert wine of Torah, but it's actually like the instruction book. It's like the ABCs. I mean, if a person's like just beginning to learn, I mean, the first question is like, okay, like, what's the meaning of life? <laughs> you know, do I have a soul? What is it? You know, what are we doing here? What is the spiritual work? How do I do it? If I'm going to practice Torah and learn Torah, what am I trying to reach through through this? And uh, that's how I understand. I understand that the Kabbalah is really like the, the instruction book. I don't know, with, without the basic understandings of Kabbalah, so um, it's like having the Torah, but not quite knowing how to, what we're trying, where we're trying to go with that. The Kabbalah is the inner spiritual teachings of the Torah, the inner spiritual teachings of Judaism. And it's the teachings of, of Judaism that are, that are dealing with um, the biggest questions. What is, what is the purpose of creation? What is the meaning of life? What is our soul? Uh, if, if there's a God and God's so good, why is everything so bad? And, uh, you know, we, in, 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 uh, in Torah and Judaism, we have a lot, of, a lot of the aspects of the Torah dealing with a person's outer spiritual work. And the Kabbalah is dealing with a person's inner spiritual work, all of our transformation of consciousness that we're going through. And I think when, when you come down to a person's inner spiritual work, it comes down to, on some level, to intention. You know, with every action that we're doing, there's also an intention. And if we bring it down to its, its you know, binary level, in every intention of what we're doing, there's basically two intentions. What can I get from this, or how can I try to be giving from this? And we learn in the Kabbalah that, we learn that the purpose of creation is to give infinite goodness to everybody. We, we learn that the only reason we were created is for every single one of us to experience the greatest possible goodness that could ever possibly be. It's a great idea. The slight problem seems to be reality. If the only purpose of creation is to give infinite goodness to everybody, then the whole question is, what's going on? Who's experiencing infinite goodness? The world's full of so much suffering. This is the whole learning of the Kabbalah, but, but we learn that everything that we're going through in our life right now, we learn that this is all a temporary stage. And we learn that everything that we're going through in our life, we learn that what we're actually going through on the deepest level. We learn that we're all right now undergoing a spiritual transformation. It's getting every single one of us ready to be able to experience something so amazing you couldn't even like begin to dream of. And the basic learning of the Kabbalah is what is this whole transformation we're going through to prepare us to experience all this goodness? We learn that every person is a body and also a soul. Our bodies are here in this world for so many years, then they're gone. The Kabbalah is trying to get us to realize that the part inside of us that's really us, the part inside of us that's really, really like really us, the Kabbalah is trying to get us to realize that we are here forever. <laughs> and that we're here in something so awesomely, awesomely, awesome, we can't even like begin to imagine. And we learn that everything we're going through is preparing us to, to come to the experience of the goodness. And at the root of all the teachings, we learn that this transformation we're going through is learning to reach the place of truly caring for the other. We learn that the energy under creation is in a state of complete unconditional love, pure giving, we learned that, that all, it's all of our caring only for the self is our separation from this experience. We it's all part of the plan. It's all purposeful that we start with the caring for the self. But, but we learned that the idea is for us to, to grow beyond this and reach the place of unconditional love, truly caring for the other. We learned that the moment that we individually and globally and on a soul level reach the place of unconditional love, the place of truly caring for the other, we learned then we're going to be right. That's called the fixing of creation. And then we learn, then we're prepared for the purpose of creation, which is the experience of all the goodness.